So let's take a look at this quick document and see what we've got here. Now obviously there's a, a title that's been produced there automatically and then we've got the sections of information. Now each section has a pair of pink bookmarks like that and they show where the EA generated information is included in the document. So if I want to scroll through my document I can see at the start of every EA section there's a section start bookmark and at the end there's one of those. And what I can do is if I want to add in another section, I place my cursor between two of those sections and then choose which package I want to put in and insert that section again. So you can see I've got a new set of bookmarks there for my new section two. And this tells me in the preview pane what content is going to go into section two. And in order to physically get that into the document, I need to go to generate it. And I can generate all of the sections, but in this case, I'm only interested in just what that one new one is. So I'll just generate quickly that new section. So there you are. I've got my content in there, and that includes diagrams and text again, as I'd expect. Now, in order to get this ready to publish it, I want to change the document title because that really isn't very meaningful. I want to delete that bit of content there because that's useful for me to know, but not really for my audience. And also want to make sure that these pink bookmarks are invisible because they're not really going to add value for the audience. So in there I can choose hide section marks and those disappear. So there we are, I can see what my document's going to look like. Now actually I've got quite a lot of white space in there so maybe I can remove a little bit of the um, extra spacings that I've got in there and I can make my document nice and compact and I can go through and make those kinds of changes. So there's my document ready to go out the door with all the content in that I need. So now I'll just save that, give it a new name, sample four, and there we are. My document is saved with its new title, ready to go out on its own in the world.